Experiment 5. Focal length of a convex lens by using a plane mirror. Objective. This experiment is designed to determine the focal length of a biconvex lens by using a plane mirror. Apparatus required. A biconvex lens, lens holder, a light box with an arrow shaped slit, a plane mirror mounted on a stand and a meter scale. Theory Ray starting from the principal focus of a biconvex lens becomes parallel to the principal axis after refraction from the lens. If a plane mirror is kept perpendicular to the principal axis, these parallel refracted rays will strike the plane mirror normally and will be reflected back by the mirror following the same path. The reflected parallel rays parallel to the principal axis after passing through the lens converges at the principal focus of the lens. Hence, if an object is placed at one of the focus of a biconvex lens, as in the above case, its image will be formed at F only. The gap between the optical center, center of the lens O, and its focus F is the focal length F of the lens. Procedure Find the rough focal length of the given lens by forming an image of a far distant object on a wall. Place the given plane mirror lens on the holder and the slit fitted light box in line along a meter scale as shown in the diagram. Make sure that the lens and the mirror are placed vertically straight. Arrange the apparatus until the sharpest inverted image of the illuminated slit is formed at the blank space besides the slit itself. In the position of sharpest image, the object, illuminated slit and its image coincide at the focus F of the lens. Use meter scale to note the positions of the object F and of the lens O. Record F and O in the given observation table. Repeat the same for recording two more observations. Record your observations and do calculations as follows. Conclusion The focal length of the given biconvex lens is found to be dash centimeters. Precautions Care should be taken to place the lens in the holder such that it remains vertical. The lens in the holder should remain vertical at all time during the experiment. Place the mirror mounted on a stand straight so that the parallel rays strike normally on it. Take readings corresponding to the positions of the lens on the scale aligning to the center of the lens.